in the second part of this texturing exercise, we'll create a glass texture and then apply it to doors and windows. So let's go to the resource browser and now click on the resource menu button and then select new resource in building new textures and then select RenderWorks textures. In the edit texture dialog box, give the new texture a name. So let's call it glass. And now take a look at the left side of the edit texture dialog box. Each texture is actually made up of four shader types. These shader types are actually individual components of a texture that give the texture certain features, color and reflectivity, transparency, and bump. And bump is, is what gives a texture a three-dimensional appearance. Now, not all textures require all four of the shader types. And for this glass texture, we'll only use three. And these are color, reflectivity, and then transparency. So let's start with color. In the shaders area on the left, click on the color drop-down box and select color. And now we need to select a color. So click on the edit button next to the drop-down box and select a color for the glass. For this exercise, the color should be nearly black, but just a little bit lighter, really a very a very dark gray. And the reason for this is that the color black will make the glass almost completely transparent in the rendering, very clear and very clean looking. But adding a little bit of white will make the glass just slightly opaque to make the window stand out a bit in the rendering as if it has just a little bit of dust on it. So select a dark gray, and then after selecting the color, click OK. And now we'll make the glass reflective. We do that by choosing a reflectivity shader. So click on the reflectivity drop down box and select glass, which is one of the reflectivity shaders, and click on the edit button next to the glass shaders drop down box and then select a center color, which will give the glass a, a little bit of a tint of color when viewed from when you view it from certain angles. And select a very dark green like this one but not too dark, otherwise it will just look gray in the rendering. And after you finish selecting the color, click OK. And finally, we need to make the glass transparent. So click on the Transparency drop-down box and select Glass, which is one of the different transparency shaders that are available. And now click on the Edit button next to the Transparency shaders drop-down box. And this is where you can adjust the number of the glass transparency's features. In, in this case, we're increasing the amount of light that can pass through the glass. That's to say, we're, we're making it a little more transparent than the default. So in the transmission data field, enter 90, 90. Now you can see that there's a certain pattern to creating these textures using the built-in tools provided by RenderWorks. Basically, each texture can be composed of up to four shader types. Select the shader types that are appro appropriate for the texture and then click on the shader types edit button to make the necessary adjustments. And it's worth experimenting with different shaders that you can find under shader types because sometimes the one you need may not be immediately obvious. For example, in some cases when you're creating a glass texture with reflectivity, it's better to choose the mirror shader instead of the glass shader for that shader type, depending on how much reflectivity you want. Now click OK to finish and we're done with the glass texture. There's just one last thing we need to do with a glass texture and that is apply it to the doors and windows. In this file, all the doors and windows have been set up to have the glass placed in a separate class called Glazing Clear. So let's take a look at this. Switch to Top Plan View, and now zoom in and click on the entry door to select it. And then in the Object Info palette under the Shape tab, click on the Settings button and in the door settings dialog box click on classes on the left. Now look at the last three items in the classes list in the center column. You can see that glazing, side light glazing, and transom glazing have all been placed in the glazing clear class. It's not just the doors but the windows in this model have also been set up in a similar way. All, all the glazing components have been have been put in the glazing clear class. Now why is this important? because in Vectorworks, it's possible to assign a particular texture to a specific class. And so when you put an object in that class, it will automatically display the assigned texture as soon as you render. In this case, since all the doors and windows have their glazing assigned to the glazing clear class, all we need to do is assign 
the new glass texture that we just created to that class and then all the doors and, and the windows will automatically display the new glass texture when we render. So let's open the organization dialog box and click on the classes tab which is the first on the top left. You can see the glazing class so let's click on the little triangle to open it up and now select clear and then click the edit button at the bottom so now we're editing this class. The bottom part of the edit classes window is where you assign textures to this class so you'll see three tabs here and these this is where you can select walls, roofs or other and in this case the, in this case, the glass in the windows are not roofs or walls so click on other and now we need to select an assigned texture so click on the texture checkbox and then on the selection tool beneath it and select the texture glass. Click OK to finish and then click OK one more time to close the organization dialog box. And now we're done assigning the glass texture to the glazing clear class. And so let's switch to a perspective view and then render to see the result. Now the methods that we've used here to apply textures to objects are just a few of the ways that we can apply textures. Vectorworks offers many different methods for this including applying textures to specific faces of objects and not to others, assigning textures to different wall styles so that when you use such a wall style the textures are immediately displayed when you render and there are, there are several other methods as well. The ones we show here are among the most easy to use but once you become more familiar with Renderworks and then begin to do more work with it, it's worth looking up all these other methods in the support materials because if the files are set up to use them, they can actually save you a great deal of time and effort.